it's not a secret. Wade's gonna has to score for us, and and our offense is gonna go through him. And he, you know, he shouldered a lot of that pressure, and he's an explosive, explosive scorer. I, maybe the most explosive scorer that we've had here since we've since we've been back. You know, Brad and Dalton both could score the ball um, in a lot of different ways, but Wade just has that explosiveness about him that uh, that when he can get to the rim and and elevate and finish at the rim is is, is pretty impressive. And 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 I've enjoyed watching him start his senior season, and he's dominant dominated some games on the offensive end and, and we need him to do that. Tuesday night's win over West Central is the best evidence yet that Brad Tomhave's subtle crafting and yes tweaking of the system around Wade Smith's talents is starting to yield some dividends. When they came out and they played like they did uh, Tuesday night, it, it kind of solidified um, why we're doing some of the things we're doing in practice and scaling it back and really focusing on a lot of the basics. You know, we've done a lot of work. We've got back in the gym and, and the kids have had a really good attitude and approach to why we're doing the things that we're doing and, and have, been, have, have welcomed that change. Clearly, some of those changes, like the noticeably different tempo of the Saki offense, have come with their fair share of early season growing pains. But Brad Tomhave is finding value in that as well, especially when you consider the caliber of the competition these guys have played. Oh, we did. We we were forced to grow up a lot, uh, absolutely, within that for those first four games. We played some outstanding competition. I think it gave us a chance to to uh, take a step back and realize what we need to do, how we need to scale some things back, both offensively and defensively, because we have a lot of growth to get to do uh, with this team, and there's a lot of individuals that uh, were just getting their first varsity experience, and that, that first week, not only opened up their eyes, but opened up our eyes as how we need to uh, approach the season. We just hope that the kids, you know, realize why we put the schedule together like we do, and, and the teams that we play, you know, um, uh, there's a benefit to it, and, and hopefully at the end of the year, uh, they've learned a lot, and they learned how to play in some of the some high intense games against some very very good competition in some great places. So, you know, hopefully, um, you, your wins and losses are nice, but the experiences they get and the the, um, the things they take out of those games hopefully help you in February when it means the most.